Hi. Yep. Hello, good afternoon. Yeah, good afternoon. Um, you're a very adaptable manager. You have a rotational system, so players can play in different places. We've seen Enzo play as a deep line playmaker as a six and be excellent. We've seen him be box to box as a as an eight. Where do you see him playing best under you? Uh, I think it's very very difficult uh, in the way we play to find a midfielder that he can attack like attacking midfielder and he can defend like all the midfielder. For instance, uh, Arsenal is using Declan Rice that is playing on the ball attacking midfielder and defend as a older midfielder. Uh, City in the past they have done with uh, Gundogan that is attacking midfielder and defending like old midfielder. Uh, in our case, we are trying to find a balance and to find the players that they can give us this kind of solution. And at the moment, Enzo is the only one that, when we have the ball, is uh, playing like attacking midfielder and off the ball, with, when we don't have the ball, is dropping next to Moy and to try to help us and give us defensive balance. Uh, the first game, for instance, we use Romeo and Moy as all the midfielder. So yeah, we are. Enzo is is in this moment playing on the ball as attacking midfielder, off the ball as all the midfielder, defensive midfielder, and is doing very very good with us. So the idea is to continue on that. Another talented midfielder you have, Carney. So he was included in your Conference League squad. He was in pre-season. What does his future look like under you and what role do you see him in midfield? I said already to him personally and I said already to you in the press conference, I really, really like Carney. The problem is that we have so many attacking midfielders that he's going to struggle to find space. And for me, because of his past in terms of injury, the best thing to do was to go in some team and to prove, to prove himself that he is fit and he can play 30, 35 games and then come back here. Unfortunately, we didn't find any solution. So now it's one of the players of our squad and we can we can use him. And you have a lot of attacking options and lots of players with flair that was brought in over the transfer window. We know Jaden Sancho is excellent 1v1, great game mm -hmm. IQ, great ball carrier. How do you see him being utilised in this squad with all these options now? More off the bench? Uh, no, no, I said many times. Uh, I decide the first 11 uh, depends of the training session. So Jadon is one of uh, our wingers. I uh, expect him. I I am I'm seeing him in the exactly in the way I expect him. Very good player in the last third, as you said, one v one quality in the last third. So he's exactly the player we were looking at. But now it's a uh, yeah, it's matter to find the right moment for him to give him chance. And uh, that's it. Lastly, Last one's wrong. Yeah. How far off are Lavia and James from returning mm. to the bench? Yeah, Romeo looks like uh, very close, hopefully for the next game. Unfortunately, Riz needs more time. Thank you so much. John. Hi, Enzo, how are you? Um, can I ask you that ownership question? <laughs> <laughs> um, obviously, it's been well After After three time. or four questions, it's, it's, it's good progress, I expect <laughs> it. <laughs> yeah. What have you made of what's going on? No, it's, uh, I said many times, and uh, we uh, also with you. We just start two months ago, so we need to know a little bit each other. But I try always to be as honest possible. And um, if I spend my energy about something different, I think it's uh, don't worth it. So my focus is just about uh, tomorrow game, to be honest. And in the last game, in the last week. I try to do exactly the same. Focus in, with, in, in the way we want to prepare the game, in the best way. So then the, the, the other things, they are things that I cannot uh, control. So you haven't spoken to either of them at all after? Uh, no, I spoke with, uh, I spoke with uh, Todd, I think, when we play City, probably, that, that more or less. And I spoke with uh, Bedad days ago. So I'm, I'm speaking with both. There is not any problem at all. And as I said, my focus is just uh, about the pitch because it's the only thing I can control. I think it's the first time we've spoken since the transfer window closed. So are you happy with the squad you've now got, with the players who've come in and also the players that have left? Because we've spoken a lot about trying to get rid of players. Yeah, I feel, I said uh, probably after Palace game, that I feel very lucky because we have many players that they can play in different positions. They are versatile, that uh, 
is something that I really like. And I think all the target that we uh, were looking at, uh, we all they are all here, uh, probably in terms of some players that uh, we were looking at and then they don't arrive, is because uh, when we want player, but we want player in our condition, not in their condition. So when both we find solution is good, otherwise they don't arrive. Ben Shilwell is still here. So what is the situation with him? Yeah, Ben now that uh, probably is the only one that is still here. So probably now we're going to sit with him and we're going to find solution uh, because he's the only one. So we see probably he's going to be uh, back with us on training session. We see because at the moment he's not training with us. But uh, from now on, probably we need to sit with him and to find the right solution, and we see. So there, there is a way back then, is that he could, he could rejoin your group and he could still play the Chelsea group? The reason why he is training apart is because the idea was for him to leave, but because we didn't find any solution, he's here and probably he's going to start to train with us. We need to decide that, probably it could be. Eh? And in the moment that if we decide that, we'll be, we'll be one of the players. What, what Last one, John. Is, is Say again, sorry. What frame of mind is he in at the moment? What frame of mind? What means? How is he? Uh, yeah. I think he's good, to be honest. I don't, I, as I said, he's not training with us. Uh, so, but uh, I, I can see him. I saw him this morning. And he, he's OK. Roman. No, Malo is still is still out. He's not uh, available for tomorrow game. And then just my follow up against Wolves, Chelsea didn't defend at set piece well, especially for the last in goal against Palace. Again, it was a set piece, and then it wasn't <coughs> defended well, and then I mean, as a scored, Chelsea paid a lot of money for a set piece coach. Has he started working? Yeah, absolutely. But we also score from set pieces, so you don't have to just watch the goal we concede also because from now to the end we are going to concede goal set pieces and we are going to score set pieces and this is not because it's working well or working bad it's because it's where it is in football you are going to concede goal in set pieces even if you have the best set pieces in the world thank you got time for three more simon david and ruben and so uh, appreciate you don't want to talk too much about the ownership situation but how important is it that it's not a negative distraction on, on the squad? Do you, do you sort of, have you sort of had to tell players don't worry about it? No, I think, I think the players, they, they, they are professional enough to understand that uh, these kind of things, there are things that, uh, they are things that we cannot uh, uh, do nothing, we cannot control. So the main focus for me is exactly the main focus for the players, that is to the pitch, the way we need to uh, to, to do the things, to, to improve things, and I think this is the main, the main, the main target for them, for for me, and for for all of us that we cannot control that kind of situation. And, and do you hope whatever happens is resolved sooner rather than later, that it doesn't continue to drag on throughout the season? Uh, I don't know if something is going to happen. To be honest, I don't have an idea. Uh, the only thing I can say is that uh, uh, in terms of football side, we are in the, dire in the right direction. I think the team is, is improving, analyzing. I also use the international break to review the games and these kind of things. I think the three Premier League games that we played, uh, it's true that we concede goals, but uh, it's also true that uh, we concede the first shot on goal against Palace. That was the goal uh, against City. We didn't concede so many chances that it's very strange. Don't concede chance against City. Wolves, second half, we don't concede any shot. So I think we are in the right direction. Uh, and this is for me the most important thing and the thing that I can control. Davida? Ciao, Ciao. Um, Going back to how you're trying to make this squad your squad, how are you working and what are you working on? Uh, yeah, for, yeah, for instance, we use this international break to try something new for the future that probably we can use. And also we try to find, as I mentioned at the beginning, 
some defensive work to find some balance that uh, does means that we are not uh, we are not defending well because in my personal opinion analyzing the game as I said the three games the first game against City we didn't concede too much uh, the second game unless the last 20 minutes of first half we didn't concede nothing and the last game against Palace uh, that I think was uh, was quite clear that we completely deserved deserved to win the game. So I try to f to focus in these kind of things, and the main target is always how we can improve players, because I said always that improving players probably you are going to improve the team. You probably have an idea of how you want your team to play from the beginning, but now the transfer market is closed. You know the players you're managing. How happy are you with the size of your squad and the players you have? No, in this moment we have 24 players. That is, uh, it's, 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 it's quite a normal squad. I said many times that uh, even at the beginning I was working with the 25, 26, never with the 40 players. So in terms of squad, uh, I'm, I feel, I, I already said many times that I really like Chelsea squad already before I joined the club. Then in the moment that I joined the club, we did some things and I think uh, doing something more in January and something more next summer, we're gonna, we're gonna have exactly the squad that we are looking uh, to have in the future. Last question, Ruben. Hi, Nanda. Nicholas Jackson signed a two-year extension. How happy are you with this and how good he, can he be? Uh, very happy, first of all, because I think he's doing very well. Uh, since I joined the club with us, he's working hard on the ball and off the ball. And this kind of player that uh, I, said, I said already many times, uh, he's going to score goals always and with us in the first three uh, Premier League game he already gave some assist he scored goals so very happy for Nico and also for us the size of the teams and for the Arsenal Manchester City they're quite big the players um, is this something which you think is important to build here and particularly in the midfield do you have that physical B presence uh, uh, big in terms of physicality oh. yeah yeah for sure for sure today if you want to compete you have to try to find the right balance between the technical side and physical side I think, uh, as you said, uh, 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 these two clubs, uh, City and Arsenal, but also Liverpool, they have that kind of players that uh, they are physically strong. But I think we are, we are there too. Thank you. Cameras off, please.